here we go. So here's the entrance to my basement. If you're a follower of the channel, you know that I love collectibles. Mostly I'm known for these high-end collectible statues that are around me. Most of them are comic based. That's because growing up, I loved comics. As an adult, I've kind of gotten back into them, but if you've watched the channel, you know recently, as you can see right here, I started buying CGC graded slabs. These are comics that are encased in these types of cases and given a rating based on what condition they're in. As you can tell by those videos, I've kind of gone nuts lately. And most of these I've been buying because I think they look excellent next to specific statues. So for example, this Wonder Woman comic is actually identical to the pose of this Wonder Woman statue right here. And a lot of statues are made based off of that cover art. So I have them displayed all throughout the basement here. And there's a couple hundred of these graded comics. Now some of them aren't based off cover art. They're comics I loved as a child or I love now. Or maybe they just have kick-ass covers. So a good question is, Mr. X, where are you putting those at? As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey guys, welcome to the Extreme channel. As I said in the intro, I'm a big collector of collectibles. That's why they call it collector. But today we're going to talk about CGC graded comics. And I'm going to give you a short tour of all the ones that I have mounted on walls. So for the most part, these are ones that are not meant to pair with a statue in my collection like the Wonder Woman comic here or any of the ones you see behind me. So we're not going to look at those. We're going to look at the ones I've mounted on walls. And I haven't counted exactly, but there's probably about a hundred of them. So this is almost a mini room tour, if you will. So you're going to see some updates to the collection that you haven't seen since my last room tour, which you can actually check out right here. So again, I want to emphasize, we're not going to look at any of the comics that are paired with statues just the ones on the walls. So let's check them out. And here we go. So here's the entrance to my basement where the majority of my collectibles are housed, whether it is these comic books or statues or autographed items. And like I said, specifically, we're gonna look at the comic books here. Now, the lighting in this hallway is automatic foot lighting, which doesn't do the best job representing the comics. So I am having some bids done on what I can do for lighting here. I want it to be really sleek. So I do have to figure that out. But I've dedicated this entrance here to my two favorite characters. So if you haven't figured it out, one is Venom. And then of course, the other one, as you know, if you're following the channel, is Silver Surfer. And they are decently categorized. I have a few different uh, ones I'm gonna switch out in the future. But starting on the right side here, the bottom level, as it goes down, are just Venom covers that I like. Most of these are variant covers. Everywhere thing from, this is the Comic Tom one, to a Mastrazzo, then a lot of Donny Cates stuff, some Del Otto stuff. Now with the grades, most of these are not really highly sought after comics, a few of them are, so most of these are 9.8. When you get to like a lot of the older comics like Silver Surfer and stuff like that, you'll see quite a few that are uh, uh, lower grades simply because they're quite a bit expensive. Now in this back part right here, I have it kind of dedicated to Knoll stuff. So you see some, some King in Black. If you don't know who Knoll is, he's the god of the symbiotes. He's kind of the big name for villains in the Marvel Universe right now. So that's kind of the first row is just off variant colors or uh, covers of Venom that I like. The second row is actually Venom's first solo series, Lethal Protector. So this was the first one. This is actually a gold foil variant. This is a pretty valuable comic, couple thousand in, in the 9.8. And then here's the normal version. So this is number one, and then it moves down to number two. These are all 9.8s. Number three, number four, five, and six. And then we go over into some of those other ones we were looking at. And again, at the top, so Venom number three up here. Again, a Donny Cates story. Uh, this is actually the first appearance of Knoll. So this is Venom number three when they're revamping it. And then here's a variant cover of that from Venom number 30. So instead of Venom eating Spider-Man, it's Knoll eating Venom. I think those pair nicely. And then we just go into some Knoll stuff. King in Black, some covers I really like. This is a Kirkham. I really like a lot of his work. 
Here's another Donny Cates story with a Kirkham cover. Really like that cover, it's autographed. More Knoll stuff. Now this is one, as I talked about, is actually gonna be next to a statue of Knoll that I am getting. Uh, but this Venom number 27, again, a uh, variant cover. And then here's Grendel, the symbiote dragon. And then some more Knoll stuff. So King in Black number five. This is a, a statue they're actually making, um, which I'm not getting, so this will stay up here. But uh, this one, remember this one. So it's a variant of a variant where Knoll's actually wrestling Venom. And then lastly, another Venom versus Knoll cover. So that's kind of the categorization of those, if you will. Then at the bottom here, these are actually just ones that are gonna go with statues that uh, I have coming in. So I have a Scream statue that I think I'm being scammed on, but hopefully it comes in. A uh, Gwenum and uh, Mary Jane Venomized pieces that I have coming in. And then a Miles Morales nullified or carnageized or however you wanna say it. So on the left side, we have more Venom and Spider-Man pieces. The top are just some nostalgic stuff from growing up. So these are a little bit lower grade, but the Madness was, I think, the third solo series for Venom, where he fought Juggernaut and his suit was infected with uh, toxic chemicals. It's a three-part series right here. So I have those three. Then below it, some kind of goofy Venom covers. Again, variants. So here's a Halloween one. Here's that wrestling one where instead of Noel beating Venom, it's Venom beating Spider-Man. One where he's kind of eating brains and Spider-Man's serving it to him. Then a, a uh, Alien vs. Venom cover. Then we kind of move into the Spider-Man story of Venom. So some of the key appearances of Venom within the Spider-Man series. Here is, and these are all 9.8s. But there you have number 316, number 374, and then Spider-Man 362. Again, covers I just really like. And then here's some one-offs, again, some more nostalgia. When Darkhawk, who I'm a big fan of, you're gonna see some other Darkhawk comics actually fought Venom. And then I have some transition comics. So this right here, Spider-Man number 430, where he's, Carnage is actually beating up Spider-Man and the Silver Surfer. So it's gonna be our transition to Silver Surfer comics. And then of course you have uh, Hulk, Verse Venom, which again, you're going to see it's kind of a transition one. And this was actually given to me by a, a supporter of the channel that I used to have next to this statue that's actually up for sale. So then Silver Surfer, these are a lot of key issues of Silver Surfer from when I was growing up that I absolutely love the covers or the storylines. This one right here, Silver Surfer 58, he's actually not fighting these uh, Doctor Strange, uh, the Submariner and the Hulk, but it's kind of a transition, Hulk, Hulk. Uh, it, that's actually in his mind. Here is a restored Silver Surfer number one, and you're gonna see a normal sur Silver Surfer number one. So this is the restored one I got for a pretty decent price. Not a huge fan of restored comics, but I kind of bought it ignorantly, 7.5. Then we have Silver Surfer number three, the first appearance of Mephisto. So number one, number three. Then this is my favorite comic of all time, uh, at least from growing up, number 59. So I've talked about this before, and I actually have two of these. One is autographed, this, this is a 9.8, but uh, uh, Nebula actually has the Infinity Gauntlet, so the Defenders and, and Doctor Strange arranges all of them to team up to get it back from her, and Thanos and Silver Surfer have their, their differences, so Doctor uh, Strange sends them to another dimension to fight it out, like night style, horsebacks and everything. It's pretty cool. Silver Surfer number 50, a very classic cover, so these are kind of Thanos versus Silver Surfer covers. Here is number 55. And then here's a Rebirth. It's a variant uh, cover. Uh, this one is actually signed by Sulian, I believe. And then these are some of my favorite covers growing up. The stories aren't necessarily good, but Silver Surfer 65, where he fights uh, Reptile. Silver Surfer 23, this was my favorite cover growing up or one of them, I'm still looking out for number 49. 49 was my favorite cover. This is actually a giveaway we're gonna do on the channel, a Silver Surfer Black number three. Another one, Silver Surfer number 37. He teamed up with Drax a lot, so Drax is very different in the comics than he was in the MCU. And then here's some new variants uh, from a few years ago, uh, some Thor comics, Thor number nine and 12, where Silver Surfer and Thor are going at it. You can see the reflection of each other in their helmets, or in their uh, heads, pretty cool. 
So then as we move over, you should recognize some of this stuff you may not have seen since the last display, but my Fantastic Four display. Here's another Silver Surfer Rebirth number one. And I put this up here because it's kind of a, an offshoot of this Silver Surfer comic number 44. These are all 9.8s again, where he's holding a silver, Thanos is holding Silver Surfer. And again, there's XM Thanos. So we'll come back to the uh, Fantastic Four setup, but there's that other Silver Surfer 59, my favorite comic. That one's actually autographed. It's a 9.4. Thanos number 15, this is when he uh, came back as the Fallen One. Awesome Donny Kate storyline, and that one's actually autographed. Just a, a generic Mephisto comic. It's the Heroes Reborn. Infinity Gauntlet number one, 9.8. I think most of these are. And there's a lot in the cases like we talked about. We're not going over those today. But I do have one more, it's an Annihilation number one over here, or number th uh, three, sorry, number three. I think it pairs well behind this statue. So we're gonna make our way back there. Uh, we're gonna end right there. And the basement's a little messy, but this is where I filmed it. Right now there's only four or five comics hung on the wall, but again, a lot within the display. One is probably my most expensive one, close to it. Giant Size X-Men number one, we have a 6.5 back there. I plan to fill the rest with other X-Men pieces. Over here, we have X-Men number one. I will be moving this, but I am getting the uh, XM Studios one-third scale Magneto statue, so that'll pair with that. And then we have some uh, variants here where Deadpool teamed up uh, against Carnage and Venom, and you can see some Deadpool and Venom statues right nearby. And again, a bunch of other covers that actually match the statues they're with that we're not focusing on. That's where all the filming happens. And then heading back here, uh, first appearance of Red Hulk, Hulk number one, or not first appearance, but first comic. Pairs well, I think, with that statue. And then I have some one-off variants. So because I have my Hulk display right here, Here's Hulk fighting Silver Surfer and Galactus who are right over here. So I think it's a good transition piece. And then just some random comics from going up. I have Darkhawk, number one, Sleepwalker, number one, and Morbius, number one. And I still have a lot of those original comics. So then over here, we have a Fantastic Four, number 48, first uh, appearance of Galactus, mention of Silver Surfer. This is a 4.5, it's a little damaged, but I have a nicer grade you're gonna see. Then up here is kind of the trinity of that storyline. And again, I gotta do something with the lighting. But you have a 6.5, so same comic that we just saw next to the Watcher there. Much better shape. 5.5, first full appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus. And then we have, that's a Fantastic Four number 48. Then Fantastic Four number 50. Really big focus on Silver Surfer. Then down here, we have Silver Surfer number one, 7.5, so this isn't a restored one. We have Silver Surfer number four, where he took on Thor for the first time in a 7.5. These are all pretty decently valuable comics. Um, probably, you're probably around 10,000 right there. Silver Surfer number 72 is just a cut, or Fantastic Four number 72, uh, 9.0, big folks on Silver Surfer. Here's a Rebirth uh, number one variant. This is a, gonna be a giveaway we're gonna do on the channel. Here's another Silver Surfer number three. This one's a little bit higher than the one we saw in the hallway. Mephisto, I'm a huge fan of Mephisto, 7.0. This one is a cheaper comic. It's Fantastic Four number 35. It's a, uh, not the original number 35, it's a different one. But I do plan on replacing this one with Fantastic Four number 18, first appearance of Super Scroll. I'm looking for a good deal on a 7.5 to kind of match some of these other ones. But this I have because I'm planning on putting uh, uh, redoing this display a little bit and uh, going to be some Super Scroll statues. And then down here I need to fix the cords, but we have Namor on Throne. And we have a 6.5, the first Submariner comic, and then the first appearance of Submariner. So this is my oldest comic. This is a Fantastic Four, number four. It's only a 1.8, but still in pretty good shape for 1.8 in a very valuable comic. So those are the ones that I have on the wall. And as I said, there's about twice as many within the statue displays themselves. You can see a few of them right here. But that's the look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please drop a like. If you like stuff like this and you like some of the other collectibles you saw, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and again, throw down a comment. You might win a statue. In the meantime, till our next video, which is a really, really good video, check out some of these other videos.